Dale 500 with 126 laps completed. Bobby Ellison spins in turn number two. He was running in second spot, and he has made contact with the wall. So another of the top contenders has a problem here at Bristol. Allison's car has stalled in the infield. Down in the turn two area, there is Bobby. The yellow comes out, and another interesting development. The car's moving again now. I don't. I thought maybe the, he had had an engine problem, but the car is moving again. He's got it restarted, and here he comes. Bobby Allison had led 56 laps of this race, laps 21 through 77. That's when Dale Earnhardt took the lead. And here's a replay, Betty. He lost something in the right front. I would think that the right front tire went flat or something. He just, oh, Jeff, Ooh. again, Jeff Bodine just gets by. Again, he just, he, but the tire is up. Is the, yes, the right front tire is still up. Well, just one of those things. The car took off toward the wall, and Bobby couldn't save it. Made there. contact with the wall and uh, spun to the infield. Possibly there's some oil or something. I, I don't. I think there's got to be something broke in the right front of, the, of that car because. Uh, well, we'll find out in a moment. Bobby Allison has stopped over in the backstretch pits, and his normal pit is That's Phil Parsons right there. That is Phil Parsons who dropped out of this race very early, and he's uh, looks a steering like wheel. He's going to get a steering wheel. Unbelievable. Phil Parsons goes to his car that dropped out of the race early on and is removing the steering wheel and apparently will take it to Bobby Allison. <laughs> he's Whoops, got, oh, it's still attached. Oh, he's got the radios in there. <laughs> Bobby Allison doesn't have a steering wheel. Well, that certainly explains why he couldn't save the car and keep it from hitting the wall. There is Phil handing the steering wheel through the window to Bobby Allison, and Allison pulls away immediately. This is amazing. <laughs> well, here comes Allison now out of the backstretch pits. He's being held up there while the field comes around, but he will be, I assume. <laughs> That's cruel. They holding him up while the field goes by, right? He's only two laps down. He doesn't knock the fence down. Field under yellow here on the main straightaway, and now Bobby Allison gets back out there on the racetrack but is heading for his own pit area. 134 laps completed. A lot of interesting developments in this race already, and we've got a lot more to go. We'll be right back. Jeff Bodine on his superstition or his good luck charm. Whatever it is, I won't say <laughs> no much. Uh, and try to get out there to fill too if you can, guys. And <laughs> see what like Bobby exactly trailer. said. Jackie Jackie's in the pit down there. Did the steering wheel break or what? Also has a broken windshield. <laughs> 